the pankha fan was used in india about 500 bc it was a handheld fan made from bamboo strips or other plant fiber that could be rotated or fan to move air during the british rule the word came to be used by anglo indians which means a large swinging flat fan fixed to the ceiling and pulled by a servant called the pankha wala the factory where the documentary was shot is named jain electromech appliances this company was earlier called jain engineering industries it was started uh, in 1987 the ceiling fans include two major components that is the motor and the blades long aluminum sheets are cut into appropriately sized fan blades then the corners of these blades are shaped and the holes are drilled for fixing the rivet now the edges of the blades are smoothened later these blades are angled to improve the air flow blade pitch is the angle of the ceiling fan blades hence the greater the angle the higher the scoop of air the blades can push then the aluminum blades are fitted with the angled mild steel shanks with the help of rivets these are manually hammered then these blades are given to special purpose electrical machine where rivets are pressed thus the shank and the blades are fixed permanently These are then sent to paint according to the specified colors to match the decor of the home. For the stator, the slot insulation papers are first filled into the main winding slots. And then The copper wire is wound over these which is called the main winding. Further they are sent for popping in the insulation for the starter winding slots. then the copper wire is wound over the insulation these stators are varnished and dried by heating or baking these dried stators are then fitted with the shaft by hydraulic press The stator outer diameter is then grinded. This is to make the air gap between the stator and the rotor even all over, which avoids magnetic losses and humming noises. The top bottom covers are sprayed with paint and dried. The painted top bottom covers are fitted with the ball bearings. The stators and rotors are fixed together onto the top bottom covers and manually tightened. Now the capacitor is fitted along the shaft with rivets. Once the capacitor is fixed, the stator winding and the capacitor wires are split into positive and negative terminals. Then these segregated wires are fitted in the slits. Then 
Slim lines of gold coating is painted along the circumference of the motor. Based on the noise level and other factors, the motors that pass the test are finally sent for packing. The tested motors are then cleaned and packed along with the packets of screws, down rod and canopy. These major components of the ceiling fan are packed into cartons and exported. 